In today's video, we will be talking about the spirit of Juanito, the never giving up and always trying its hardest spirit of Real Madrid inspired by its legend Juan a Juanito Gomez. Nowadays, any time Madrid find themselves in a desperate situation that requires a comeback, Juanito's spirit is evoked, his spirit often being called upon before matches where the team need to make an unexpected comeback because of all the comebacks he often led while donning the white shirt. Juanito's battle cry became the stuff of legend. The seventh minute of every Real Madrid match at the Santiago Bernabeu is always dedicated to Juan Gomez, a complicated person who was a great player and a potentially great coach, and who is still known by his nickname Juanito. This story is about him and about his famous spirit. His story is one that inspires the fans and the players. It's a story worth telling. Juan Gomez, a Real Madrid forward from the 70s and 80s era, who was killed tragically in a 1992 road accident at the age of 37. He is a player with tremendous dribbling ability whose career was overshadowed by a fierce character. His quality as a player, and above all, his strong-willed character made him the core embodiment of the club's perceived refusal to give up, regardless of the odds stacked against them. Juanito was one of the main figures of those comebacks. Every knockout match was like the final stand for him. He never said never, he was a motivator and a leader who would fight until the end, and he gave his all for victory. This phenomenon of his character was called by the fans as the spirit of Juanito. Juan spent 10 years at Real Madrid, where he got the nickname Juanito Maravilla, which translates to Little Juan the Miracle. He won five league titles, three of them were consecutive, two Copa del Rey's two UEFA Cups, and reached the 1981 European Cup final, in which Los Blancos lost 1-0 to Liverpool. He also won the Pichichi Trophy as the best goalscorer of the 83-84 season, though he never was a very prolific scoring forward. He also wasn't the quickest, the most skillful, or the most creative player. So why was Juanito so special for the club? As time passes, he became the sensation. Due to Juanito's goal-scoring skills, he was signed by Real Madrid in June 1977 for 27 million pesetas. Upon his presentation, he famously said, Playing for Real Madrid is like touching the sky. Real Madrid has always been my first choice as a team and Madrid has always been my favourite as a city. But there was also another side of Juanito's character. Sometimes he blew up for no apparent reason. He was irritable and explosive, and also completely uncontrolled from time to time. His teammate Antonio Camacho, Real Madrid's legendary left back from that squad said once, it was useless to tell Juanito not to do something because he wouldn't listen anyway. Juanito had two versions of himself and the furious one sometimes broke out of control. In the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup, Madrid faced Inter Milan and lost 2-0 at the San Siro. Real Madrid managed to win 3-0 in the second leg with goals coming from Santillana and Michel. Although Juanito played only 14 minutes in the game as he came on as a second substitute for Frail, it was before the Inter Milan game that Juanito said his most famous words. 90 minutes at the Bernabeu is a very long time. It is believed that 15 comebacks were made during Juanito's time at the club. In 2016, the coaching era of Zinedine Zidane, where he was tasked to pull off a turnaround against Wolfsburg during the Champions League quarterfinal, with Real Madrid trailing 2-0 against Wolfsburg in the first leg, the stuff of miracle has to be done in the second leg. Thanks to Zidane's leadership and vision, Real Madrid won the second leg with a stunning 3-0 comeback against Wolfsburg, which secured their spot in the semis through an aggregate score of 3-2 hat-trick from Ronaldo and also making it through the final, everyone knows what happened next. In this season Madrid have been managing its games very intelligently thanks to their coach Mr. Carlo Ancelotti and their front trio Vinicius, Rodrigo and Bellingham, top scorer this season. The team has made an art form of striking when least expected using the pace of the deadly Brazilian duo. Supported by the Englishman and the through passes of the German sniper, Tony Cruz who's been making great performances and not forgetting Lunin's heroic saves throughout the season. 
Hence they are now clutching the Liga title and progressing smartly at the final stages of the Champions League. One of Real Madrid's Ancelotti greatest comebacks in the history of the club was in 2022, after defeating the powerful Guardiola side Manchester City 3-1 in the Bernabeu 6-5 in aggregates. It was Rodrigo's masterclass even though he came on late as a substitute when Real Madrid was losing 1-0. He scored two goals in the regular time forcing Man City to extra time in which Benzema gave the coup de grace to the flabbergasted opponent. The whole world was shook that night. Nowadays, in the seventh minute of every home match of Real Madrid, the group of active supporters known as the Grada fans makes a tribute to the legendary player with number seven. That's it for today's video, thanks guys for sticking out with me until the end. See you soon with another awesome topic.